Hey bosses, it's Destiny and I'm back with another video. And like I promised in the last video, I'm going to be showing you how to create perfect product images. So all the images on your website are going to be the same size and they're going to be the same colors. And I'm going to be using Canva to make this. So go ahead and stay tuned. And like all my tutorials, I like to get straight to the point. So the first thing we're going to do is pull up canva.com. And as you can see, we have my homepage pulled up. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Instagram size. So the Instagram size is going to give you that perfect square, which that's the size that I use for all my product images on my website. So when we pull up that screen, I'm going to select the blank document. So now we have the blank document pulled up. And for my images, I wanted to go with a brown border actually add the green and then keep the main portion of it white so you can better see the image better so i'm going to change this full background to brown because that's going to be the first border that we have and my brown color is six five four three two one and then i'm going to add another square and adjust it and i'm going to make this one green Then I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so you can see more of the brown. And then we're going to go ahead and add the white. Okay, now you can see our white with our green and our brown lines on the back just for a little decorations. And one thing you want to do once you have this is you want to highlight it all. And then we're going to go to the upper right hand corner and we're going to lock the screen. And that way it makes it so when we add new things, it doesn't move it. So now I'm going to add the actual airplane background. So this is just giving it a little extra design so it's not plain. We want to make our site have a little pop to it. So I just want an airplane that just has the outline so I can make that brown. So when you type in airplane, you can see all the different designs that they have. Mm, let's see. I'm not really seeing one that I really like. Okay, there we have it. Hmm. So that one is cute. That one is cute as well. But I think I'm going to end up going with. Let's try one last one. Not that one. Let's try this one. Okay, so I actually like this one. And I'm going to change the color to brown. And then we're going to adjust the size because we need to make sure that the airplanes can fit we need them going down and to the side so we're going to add 25 airplanes and it's actually a trick to it so once you find the size of the airplane that you like we're just going to go ahead and go to the right and we're going to duplicate the image yep so as you can see and we're going to do five going down the row and now we're going to line it up to how we like it. And those lines will help you do that perfectly. And now we're going to group these together. And as you can see, so I for, so we didn't end up locking it. So now we're going to go ahead and go lock the page. So when you don't lock it, that's why that white box moves. So now we have it locked. Now we can group those five together. Group. And now we can duplicate. And it's going to duplicate all five in that row. Put one in the middle to center. Put one at the end. And then we need two more. There we go. 
And one more. And in order to keep it like this, we're going to highlight it all and then we're going to lock it like this. So it stays that way when we go ahead and add our different images to it. And the first thing I'm going to start with is a deep wave bundle. Oh, lock it first. And then add the second page. Now we're going to add the deep wave bundle. So let's scroll down to find one that we like. And I like to use single bundles. Oh, there's one. So once you add it, you can go ahead and readjust the size and you edit image. And then you'll remove the background. And for this feature, you will need Canva Pro. And if you don't know already, I do have a link in the description that'll give you a 30-day free trial of Canva Pro if you need this feature. So now we're going to adjust the size. As you can see, you still see the background. You see the shadows perfect. Now this image is good to go on our website. So what I typically do is duplicate the page and then remove that image. So one thing that you can do is you can click the image and then once you go, you'll go down and say it's view more by tolerance. So it's going to show you all the images that that creator has uploaded. As you can see, they uploaded a whole bunch of bundles. So that'll be perfect for your website. So you can just go down and see which ones match what you already have. And if you remember, we had the bundle with the white band around it. So I'm going to try and find something that's a different texture. So maybe a body wave or a loose wave. And this can be a tedious process sometimes as you're going down to find what would match what you have already used. Okay, so there's one with the white band. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is edit the image, remove the background again. And once we remove the background on this one, we're going to flip it because as you can see, it's diagonal and all of our other images are vertical. So we're going to make this one a vertical image as well. Readjust the size so it can match perfectly. Then we're going to duplicate this page, remove that bundle. So the next thing that I want to move on to is show you how to do the closures. So one thing about the closures and the frontals, the tricky thing is the lace on them. So you want to pay attention to make sure that the lace is actually intact when you do it. So when your customers view your product images, they'll be able to show that, okay, this is the type of lace that she's using for this. I can see it transparent through the background or HD. So we're going to go ahead and find a perfect closure. And you want to find a closure that mimics what your brand's closure looks like. A lot of times people like to do their own product images, but this is just in case you don't have your own product images. And then I'm also going to show you how to do it if you have your own product images, which is just going to be the same way, which you're going to just take your own pictures, remove the background and upload it. Same exact thing. Let's see what closure can we find. Um, I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay, as you can see, the lace is still intact in the front. We're going to remove the background. Okay, and there you have it. You can still see the lace. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you when you remove the background and it eliminates the lace and that's going to be on the frontal one so let's quickly grab a frontal picture now as you can see the lace is already light on that one so we're going to remove the background
And as you can see, the lace disappeared. So that wouldn't be a good image to pick. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is the wigs. So finding a wig stock image on Canva can be very tricky. So what you're going to end up need, needing to do is actually uploading your own wig images. So I'm going to actually go back to my uploads and then scroll down and show you one of the wig images that I actually uploaded. And then we're going to remove the background and do the exact same process that we did for the other. So it's been a while since I uploaded a wig one. So we're going to scroll all the way down. Oh, we're going to use this one. So let's remove that white background, edit image, background remover. Okay, now we're going to adjust the size. And what I'm actually going to end up doing is cutting out the image on the right, which I'm just going to narrow it so we can only see the one where she's facing forward. There we go. And then we're going to enlarge it and move her to the center. And there we have it. So now we have all of our different product images. We have our wigs we have a closure one we have a frontal one and we have our bundles one and you'll do this for all of the products on your website so that way they're all the same size have the same background and it matches your brand perfectly